Sydney Airport are using Open Cities to build a campus digital twin to capture, record and disseminate asset information to support planning, operations and decision making. The drivers for a campus to invest in a digital twin are typically the strive for operational efficiency, the need for business optimization, enablement of capacity growth, while ensuring sustainable development of the campus and the business. There are many challenges in a campus digitalization journey. For starters, there are different types of users of a campus digital twin. Some are very technical, like engineers and surveyors, while others, such as project managers and decision makers, are unfamiliar with specialized GIS and BIM applications. The digital twin needs to cater to all users with a role-specific experience that works for them all. Data is typically scattered across different types of file repositories, databases, and business-specific IT systems. A common problem is that data is kept within departmental borders with only exports and snapshots being shared with colleagues in other fields. Individuals can be bottlenecks for information sharing as well, where documents or reports requires asking an individual for access, or data is simply locked in legacy systems, unavailable unless you have a specific client application and training. The complexity of the data also poses a challenge. Many tasks on a campus requires a mix of reality data, spatial data, and business data for task completion. The digital twin needs to handle a multitude of data types and formats and enable management, analysis, and sharing of these data sources. And the digital twin must be a platform for growth. It has to scale with the user as operations grow. It has to enable data additions and updates to maintain evergreen information as the basis of decision-making. And it must be an open platform, allowing for future integrations to data sources and third-party systems. The Sydney Airport Open Cities digital twin, known as Maps at SID, is a gateway to historical and real-time data from multiple sources relating to our physical assets, enabling our people to make informed decisions, facilitate predictive outcomes, improve operational and asset efficiency, mitigate risks and underpin safety. The landing page enables a diverse range of users to navigate their way around the airport, finding information specific to their department and role, whether that information be within buildings, terminals, across the airport precinct, or details on projects and developments. The Check My Development site is to aid in the transparency of projects and future developments across the entire airport precinct. Project managers have the ability to overlay flood studies, environmentally significant areas, and heritage sites that may impact their development. Operational information, such as the airspace obstacle limitation surface, the OLS, and noise contours can also be turned on. The location of the in-ground services network is essential. The ability to turn on or off individual services creates an overall picture of the impact a development or project will have on the existing infrastructure, essentially creating a dial before you dig scenario. Historical images can also be displayed using the slide timescale. Prior to the implementation of Check My Development, project managers would utilize our digital print room, downloading multiple static PDFs and piecemeal them together to tell the story, often followed by requests to the spatial team to create an overlay view of the proposal. The ability to view all projects and developments airport-wide negates duplication or overlapping of projects. With the aid of Open Cities and Check My Development site, project managers have the ability to choose their own adventure, saving both time and resources. The Airport and Operations site is essentially Sydney Airport's version of Google Maps, where Sydney Airport staff can navigate their way around the built environment of the entire precinct, finding data they require. Similar to the Check My Development site, the in-ground network services can be displayed. All 406 buildings have been captured within our GIS and the search function enables buildings to be located on criteria such as number, name or address. Once located and clicked on, a dialog box will open to display additional information, images and links to floor plans. The ability to search for bays has also been implemented with links to documentation such as apron operational procedures, the AOPs. Our team of surveyors use laser scanning and context capture to create 3D reality models of in-ground services prior to trenches being closed. Open Cities has provided us for the first time the capability to share this information without the need for specific software. The ability for project managers to measure depth, size and details of the services once the trenches have been filled is invaluable. It also provides a means of quality checking the workers executed data that is provided by the contractor. The terminal landing page provides links to individual sites for all three terminals. The main page for each terminal includes the architectural floor plans, 
door numbers and area classification for each level of the building. Searching for sites using either door number or trading name has been enabled and in integration with our Oracle Financial Database ensures that the trading names of the retail and property tenants automatically update. With the click of a button, leasing executives are able to access the current lease plans. For ease of use, each terminal is split up into subsites for each discipline. Links have been provided to enable users to jump seamlessly from one discipline to another. For discipline, subsites allow a greater breakdown of individual components of each service. For example, the location of distribution boards and the zones they feed have also been captured. Having the architectural floor plans and area classification as a background in the disciplines sites allows the end users to turn on floor plates above and below the services to see what and who is impacted during projects. This not only provides our facilities management team vital information, but also helps our commercial team in ascertaining who will be affected during maintenance shutdowns. Our digital print room houses close to 30,000 PDFs generated from hundreds of the Spatial Teams databases, representing the infrastructure of the 906 hectares and over 400 buildings that make up the Sydney Airport campus. Whilst there will always be a need to generate static PDFs for either regulatory requirements or for practicalities, OpenCities allows these drawings to come to life, giving end users the ability to mix and match data to create a comprehensive picture of the campus enabling them to make informed decisions from a single source of truth.